Chapter 7 Computer Data Storage Just like you remember so many things in your mind, computer can also store a lot of data and information. Computer stores data in two forms, temporary and permanent. Data that is stored in a temporary form is lost once the computer is shut down. Data which needs to be used again is stored in permanent form. Permanent data is stored on specialized storage device like read-only memory and disks. Storage devices are also part of computer memory. Examples, RAM, ROM, disks and flash drives or pen drives, etc. Types of storage devices There are two types of storage devices. Primary or Intel storage, secondary or external storage. Primary storage device Primary storage stores data and instructions for the programs which are currently in use. This storage is primarily used by the CPU. Primary storage consists of two different memory devices, ROM and RAM. ROM It stores the basic instructions to boot the computer. It stores the data permanently. RAM It is also known as the computer memory. It stores the data Temporarily, the CPU uses it to store the supporting files of the programs which are currently running on the computer. Secondary Storage Device The secondary storage device is used to store the work done on a computer permanently. Some examples of the secondary storage devices are given below. The Hard Disk The hard disk is the main secondary storage device of a computer. It is enclosed in a metal casing called hard disk drive. It is located inside the system unit. All the work you do on a computer by default gets stored in the hard disk. Hard disk can store a lot of data. The speed of data storage and reading from it is very fast as compared to other disks. Optical disk drives Optical disks are circular and flat. They are inserted in optical disk drives for reading and writing the data. Data is written on their shiny surface. These can store video, audio, text, images, games, software, etc. Various types of optical disks are available which can store data ranging from 700 MB to 25 GB. They are described as below. CD-ROM The CD is used to distribute music, movies and programs. It can store data up to 700 MB. CDs come in three forms. CD, whose data cannot be erased, it is read-only. CD, which we can write only once, it is also called CD recordable. CD, which can be written as many times we need, it is called CD rewritable. DVD, it stands for Digital Versatile Disk. ALT can store data on both of its side. It can store data from 4 GB to 17 GB. Blu-ray disk. It is a new disk format. It stores up to 50 GB of data. This disk is very useful in storing modern movie formats like HD and games. The pen drive. A pen drive is an easy to use, small sized storage device. It is plugged into the USB port of a computer. Pen drives are very popular external storage devices and are common nowadays. Presently, in a pen drive, we can store up to 64 GB data. USB Ports This port is used to connect an external device like pen drive to a computer. Memory Card Drive A memory card is small and flat. It is used in the card drives of smartphones, laptops, digital music players, etc. It is useful in transferring data from one device to other. The smaller version of this card is called micro SD card. It can store data up to 512 GB or even more. Supplement Tux Paint Tux Paint is a fun program that you can use to make beautiful drawings. It has a simple, easy to use interface and sound effects. Let us explore Tux Paint. Starting Tux Paint. Click on the Start button. Choose Tux Paint option under Tux Paint Group or type 
Tux Paint in search bar next to Start button. Creating a new drawing. Steps to start a new drawing are Click on the New button from the toolbar. You will get several colorful canvases and ready-made pictures. Click down arrow button for the ready-made pictures. To open the required picture, double-click on it or select it and click on the Open button. The selected picture appears in the drawing canvas. Click on the Magic button in the Tools section. In the selector, find the Fill tool by scrolling down, clicking on the down arrow button and click on it. Select the required color from the Colors box. Click inside the area and fill the color. See another example of coloring in starter page. Save. Click on the Save button to save your drawing. Using Paint tool. Step to use the Paint tool are Click on the New button. Now, select the canvas and click on the Open button. Click on the Paint tool from the toolbar. Select the required paint brush from the selector. Select the required color from the color box. Erase the drawing. The eraser tool is used to erase the mistakes. Click on the eraser tool. Select the required size and the type of eraser from the selector. On the canvas, click and drag the mouse to erase the drawing. Quitting Tux Paint. Click on the Quit button or press the Escape key or click on the Close button. A confirmation dialog box will be displayed. Click on Right button. Click on Yes button if you want to save the file before quitting Tux Paint, else click on the No button.